in Los Angeles there is oil and tar even on the surface today. This has trapped many animals. It's the foundation of a museum. You cannot smell, but you can see bubbles. Not real, but a model of a mammoth trapped in a tar. The hot air coming up. Colombian mammoths lived last ice age in Los Angeles. The smaller animals could survive, but the large ones could not. This building is a museum. Precious. You can see inside the museum, going to explore some of the fossils and natural history that was discovered in the George Page Museum, Labria Tar Pits. on Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles. It's a natural history museum. The evolution of life is one of the great stories that is a feature in natural history museums. You can see the mural. The ribbon. It's the total history of life on Earth. You can see all sorts of bones. Of an eagle. One of the leg bones. Living species from Rancho La Brea. panel represents 2,000 years of history. The top panel is the animals and bottom shows the events in man's history. The American lion and the California saber tooth. years ago. Very straight land bridge. The bison.
different species and artifacts 4,000 years ago. Cut. Saber tooth cat. Recreations of what it might have been like. Short faced deer. Some of the fossils, some animals were larger. Worse than a horse. Skulls, a saber tooth, a bison, western horse, mastodon, library woman. Explains about radio carbon fourteen dating. Must be disturbing. Work the window. This is trying to make science public. The research laboratories. Important to make science public for children so they can be scientists in the future. Here, a bison. Look at the size of the muscles above the backbone. So 
can see different animals were fossilized and trapped. It's a great display of bones, teeth. This is a mammoth bison. The size of a tooth. Camel. comprehensive collection of fossils. So in the ground around Labria tar pits you can still see asphalt coming out of the ground. People have put sticks in here. This is asphalt just coming out from the ground. Look out it says. So wherever there's a cone, it indicates the tar is coming out. It's quite remarkable in the middle of Los Angeles. One mile underneath the surface is the tar pit. So one mile underneath the oil reserve, a large area. And here we can see tar just oozing out of the ground. So these different pits for excavation. Three old pits were drug. Pits 3, 4, 61, 67. And the different asphalt oozed them. The fossils were side by side, yet 20,000 years apart. Different movement. Twenty-three. It's 23 boxes 
fossils that were removed when they excavated the car park in the underneath for the LA County Museum. So each wooden crate contains fossils. So they made the custom wood and excavate. And gradually they separate out the boxes. So in the middle of any archaeological excavation when they build an underground car park they established. And from these fossil finds they established many different creatures were found. So this is La Bria. It's well worth a visit. An interesting location in the middle of Los Angeles for those who like archaeology and natural history. And it's just amazing to see the town. So what happened is the large plant eaters, like the giant sloth, would come thinking it was water in a very hot climate. First the animals would think it was pools of water, but on top there might be water and leaves. Then there's tar. Then as they scream and struggle, many carnivores come. So a ratio of large carnivores, like wolves and saber-toothed cats, is 9 to 1 meaning they came thinking it's a free meal, but in the end, they got trapped. And then the predators uh, would get uh, stuck and die. So this is the story of why this has got so many fossils. Over five million species, five million individual fossils, many different species. Of course, some of them plants as well.